Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Ehab Halab back again here with another video. I'm gonna try to make this intro as quick as possible because as you can tell, it is a long video already. Uh, but this is a Chrome Delete on a 2018 Mercedes CLA. I'm also debadging two emblems in the back that I will be showing in this video. We're gonna get to it right now. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Let's get to the debadging process right now. All right guys, we're gonna start off with the debadging process. The formatic here, so here's what we're gonna need. Grab a heat gun. We're gonna be using some sort of thread. So I'm gonna be using knifeless tape. There's thread in there. You could use like a, some sort of thin wire or even like sewing thread. And then we're gonna heat up each letter, run this through along each letter or number, I guess. We're gonna take them off. After that, I'm gonna heat up uh, the residue on there. And I'm just gonna kinda use my finger to get most of the, the double-sided tape off. And then there's still gonna be a bit on there. So we're gonna use this guy here. This is 3M adhesive remover. This stuff works awesome for uh, getting residue off. Um, and then this is my 99% rubbing alcohol. We're gonna spray on there after, uh, get it all nice and cleaned up. And I'm just gonna start off by heating up one letter at a time here. Obviously don't let it get too hot or you're gonna ruin the, either the paint or the emblems themselves in case you're trying to keep them because you can put them on in the future. So just heat it up, put the heat gun down, grab whatever kind of thread you're using. A wire works better, but works pretty good there. Just take it off. Felt the eye coming loose. Get that off. Grab some more heat, do that again. So now what I like to do is I just like to heat it up. You may not even need any heat, but yeah, look at that. Most of the double-sided tape comes off. So you just want to get like the, the thicker part of the double-sided tape off. I am going to use heat though, it does work quicker. So just heat it up. And I just kind of rub it down, roll it with my finger. So now we got most of it off. So now this stuff is a little harder to get off. You can't get it off with your finger. Now keep in mind before I keep going on, every vehicle is gonna be different. Obviously the newer the vehicle, the easier this will come off because I mean, it hasn't been on the vehicle long. The older the vehicle, it might take some time to remove. So keep that in mind. Next off, we're gonna be using adhesive remover by 3M. So here's what I'll do. Just kind of spray some on there. Don't like when it runs down. So I'll just wipe whatever runs down. Let it sit on there for a bit. Let it work, do its magic. The microfiber, see how it works. And that, that's perfect. That's all you can see. It's breaking that down, so that's fine. Spray some more and then I just kind of rub it. Now you guys might be looking at this like, oh my God, what's going on? No, it's fine. It's not doing any damage. This is safe on the paint. It's a nice, clean microfiber. And you just kind of want to just rub it off. Just like that. Spray some more. Let it sit now for a little. Grab a different microfiber here. All right, I think that does most as we're getting off with our adhesive remover and rubbing alcohol. You can kind of still see the outline of the formatic. So the only way to get that off is a nice, probably buff wax or polish. 
get that cleaned up. All right guys, so both sides are now complete. Debadging is done, so now that emblem in the middle there, we gotta black that out. Now for the emblem, just gonna give it a quick clean. This is rubbing alcohol. Now from experience, I have done a few of these emblems, and these emblems sit tight on the vehicle. So I'm gonna be using Plasti Dep to black this out, and I know um, on the insides here, it kind of attaches to the body. So most of the time what I do is I'll grab a hot knife and I'll just kind of run the, the knife along here just so I could cut it off so it doesn't attach and rip off the black plastic up on the emblem. I'll show you guys that once I get there. Quick and easy, what I do to mask it off is I'll grab this tape and drape. Everyone always asks me this on my uh, tail light tint video because I use this to mask around the tail light. Um, yeah, this is called tape and drape. It makes the process so easy to mask things off. We are gonna go to the front of the vehicle. We're gonna mask up the grill. Okay, we're at the front of the vehicle. We're gonna be taking off the front emblem. I got it loose already. We're gonna twist to the left, pull it out, comes out, and the, and the center emblem just pops out just like that. All right guys, let me show you how the grill looks now. So it's all masked up. Yellow tape is all as close as possible to the edge without it touching the grill. I mean, it's okay. A little bit of the plastic grill still shows. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna make a difference after it's all said and done, but it's all masked off. Inside's all masked off. Okay, here we are at the window trim. We're gonna be starting off with the rear driver's side, the bottom one we're going to be doing. So what I use is this right here. It's called, it's by 3M. It's called Cover Chrome. It's made for window trim. So it's a, it's like a two inch um, wide vinyl. It's gloss black. It's got a plastic cover over it. So when you're installing it, you're not uh, causing any scratches. All right, so once she's all clean, I like to do it with the doors closed. Gonna peel this off, attach it on one side. Again, give yourself some room on the end. So, something like that. Make sure you get that the whole piece covered. Tack it down. I just kind of like to work one way as I'm peeling the backing off the vinyl, and then I'll push down on the vinyl. just like that. So I got the middle all tacked down. So now what I like to do is, I'll grab my squeegee now. Now that I got the, the middle all tacked down, I'll just start from the middle, push down. Just go all the way along. Just like that, same thing. The other side, just like that, and go along the bottom just so it sits nice and tight under that window trim. Now I'm going to peel the ends, I'm going to open the door, I'm going to open the door to get to the end part here. So we're going to give the ends with the heat gun just a little bit of heat and we're going to fold it over. So I'm gonna pull with my hand and I'm gonna kinda contour it around there. Just like that. You'll see it kinda heat shrink. Nice and tight there, so we're gonna cut off the excess. Top and bottom, we're gonna run our blade 
across that seam there. So there's the rubber here. This is the window trim. We're gonna cut right in between those two parts. On the bottom here, we're just gonna, there's enough room, we're gonna stick our knife in. And we're just gonna glide it all the way along there. Let me show you guys how that's all done. We're just gonna glide it along there. You don't gotta put it a lot of pressure. As long as you got a nice fresh blade, it'll glide through it like butter. All right, just like that. I'm gonna cut the ends now. There's the bottom. Sides. And along the top. Just like that. Add some heat. Make sure it's all nice and flat. And that one is pretty much complete. Two. All right guys, we're working on the door handles now. What I did just now, I got some knifeless tape because we're just doing the chrome on top. Obviously the bottom of the handle here is black. So this is our knifeless tape. It's gonna cut the vinyl for us nice and clean so we don't have to use any knife on there. It's a very tight spot so Cutting on there with a knife could potentially damage the paint or the chrome or both. So we got knifeless tape on the inside, knifeless tape right there. We're gonna take our vinyl, and we're gonna lay it down. Take your time with these guys, but it will all come along properly. Just don't rush it. So we're gonna peel knifeless tape here on the bottom. Get rid of that excess. Peel that off just like that. Get this vinyl past the knifeless tape. You're gonna have to give the edges or the corners a little bit of heat just to fold them down a bit. All right, that should be all good. I'm gonna give it some heat before we peel that plastic off. It's a little tricky to do, got three more to go, but you got the hang of it as you keep going. So there is some chrome on the back, but you can't even really see it, honestly, unless you really poke your head down below at a weird angle. Four, with the chrome, you see all the scratches. Same thing that happened with this one, and now it's all gloss black. It looks fresh, it looks clean. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'm obviously not gonna video it just because it's the same process. I'm gonna do the handles. I'm gonna continue spraying the grill and the rear emblem. We got some gloss down on the rear emblem here. We just used black plastic dip and glossifier. I was gonna use piano black hyper dip, but I did not have any in stock. And we are going to be spraying the 2K gloss on the grill now and then on the front emblem. All right, so we're gonna do one light coat and then I'm gonna follow it up with a solid heavy coat and then we're gonna let it sit uh, in the heat overnight and come back tomorrow.
Okay, the rear emblem is done. Um, I'm going to unmask it and then I'm going to use the hot knife method. So first things first, of course, take your masking tape off. So now we're gonna use our hot knife method. We're gonna cut just along the emblem there. And then lightly, we're just gonna Stick the blade in between the emblem and the actual paint of the vehicle. We're just going to work slowly on the inside there. So now I got my pick tool here. It's just like a dental tool pretty much and uh, you just got to start at a corner and start peeling off the plastic up there. So I'll grab, start at the corner. Try to grab an edge here, you'll see it come apart and it should peel off nice and smooth just like that. Beauty, just like that. Grill is looking way better. I'm gonna grab the emblem. Okay guys, there it is, all cleaned up, all ready to go, ready for customer pickup. Show you guys that grill, looking nice and sleek. Looks pretty good. Go over to the side, got the black window trim, black door handles. To the back, we got the debadged 4Matic, the debadged CLA 250. And then the blackout Mercedes logo there. Come over to the other side, of course. Black window trim, door handles, goes really good. Especially with a black car with tinted windows. Looks very nice and sleek. So there it is guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have the same car, I hope this helped you guys out a bit. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. My name is Ehab Halat and I'll catch you guys in the next video.